it, it's just before I fall asleep or if I'm in a tw like an in-between state, that's when I see them. Paranoia and drugs played a big part in the life of Max Beers, a British conspiracy theorist. But did they have a role in his death? Max died in Poland in July 2016, and it seems that some of his friends there knew he was unwell. We've been in contact with a man in Poland who says he is a quantum therapist. He sent us copies of emails from Monica Deval and Madeleine Namro, who were friends with Max in Warsaw. Our translator, Ula, goes through them with me. Mr. Christoph, I would like to ask you, would you be willing to help uh, Max Spears? I think that he needs an urgent help and uh, he's aware of the uh, state that he is in. We would really like to help him a lot. Uh, would you be uh, able to do it? And then comes Madeleine. She said, Max Spears uh, suffers on personality disorder and uh, 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 sch paranoidal schizophrenia. Wow, and he's like... addicted to medicines. I'm a bit worried that they knew how bad his state was. Mm -hmm. It sounds like they're quite desperate, doesn't it? Mm. The quantum therapist agrees to help, and he tells them that Max should take niacin, or vitamin B3, before they meet. It's not clear why you would use this for therapy, or if Max ever took it. The two men never met. listened to the singing and thought a lot about Vanessa and how hard it must be for her. Max was her baby boy and then he grew up and whatever happened in his life, he's now completely distant from her. Beyond the story, beyond the theories and the conspiracies and the online chat, the fact is that she's lost her child and his children have lost their father. Um, that's huge, it's really big. Before Max died, he spoke to Vanessa and asked her to investigate if anything happened to him. Did he know something? Was he just unwell? Vanessa and Max were in constant contact until four days before he died, when he went silent. That's around the time that the last interview was apparently recorded. The next thing she knew, he was dead. But the mystery doesn't end with his last breath. When Vanessa called Monica on the night Max died, she felt something strange was going on. Uh, there were definitely people there, I could hear people there. Mm. The emergency team and the doctor and everything had, were long gone. They were, they were trying to, all sorts of, I don't know what, to... Um, bring Max back hours after. They were talking about these strange things like cups of milk and cups of vinegar and I could hear all this being said. There was no question in my mind from those conversations he wasn't there anymore, there was nothing I could do. He stayed in the house overnight and was not removed until 11 o'clock the next day. Some people genuinely believe that Max was a super soldier that his mind could be controlled, and that he could even be brought back to life. Max was dead. They recovered him. They were working on his soul. You've got six hours to do that while the body's dead. You have six hours energetically, and the Russians have done a lot of work on all this stuff, with the energy in the body and stuff like that. This is pretty well known scientifically. In fact, I think I've got a book about it here somewhere. Probably. Uh, that's, that's dead people. So this is in the textbooks, it's there, they know about it. So you've got six hours to deal with that energy when you're dead. Yet another theory surrounding Max's death. 
I've been shown a picture by Vanessa of Max's dead body. And on his forehead is this large, strange, sort of dark mark about the size of my thumb. It looks a bit like a blood blister. But I've seen the emergency services notes and there isn't any record of that. And there's no record of any injury to Max at all. We got Max back home as quickly as we could. He arrived in a sealed coffin because he traveled across four countries. Uh, his body had de de decomposed apparently to the point that the recommendation was that no one should see him. My daughter did and she was very, very upset. The part of his face that she could see was so dark it was unrecognizable. I've not seen him, not since the day he got on the plane to go. His case came with him, but it didn't have his laptop or his phone. So a couple of three weeks later, she sent it, um, but there was no SIM card in the phone, and there was nothing on the computer at all. Somebody had clearly, definitely wiped everything off of it. I don't know whether he adds things on there that somebody didn't want anybody to see. I don't know, this is what I'm waiting to find out. It makes no sense to wipe somebody's computer. No sense to me. I'd really like to know what, if anything, is on that computer. But it's with the coroner now in Kent, and it's forming part of the evidence into an inquest into Max's death. The inquest is due to be held in the spring, and Vanessa is desperately hoping it will give her some answers. I want to know what happened to my son. Massive, massive gaps that are extremely painful for me every morning that I wake up. I worry about what happened to him. I don't know. I have no answers. Do you mind what the answers are? I'm, it's more important to me. I never thought that I'd be in a position to be even talking about it, but it's more important to me to know what happened, whatever it is, than not knowing. Yeah, just the truth, just the truth.